Farm safety net programs were established to protect agricultural producers against production, price, and income risks. But payments for major federal programs like agricultural risk coverage, price loss coverage, and crop insurance overwhelmingly go to the wealthiest and largest farms. The top 10% of farms by total crop sales, which have an average net worth of 5.5 million, received 55,000 in payments per farm in 2015, totaling almost 3 billion or nearly two thirds of all program payments. The other 90% of farms received just $4,000 on average. Two recent proposals attempt to limit the concentration in subsidies. A $40,000 cap on crop insurance subsidies would save an estimated $2 billion per year, while a $125,000 cap on per farm subsidies across all programs would save $670 million per year. Nearly all of these savings come from a reduction in payments to the largest 5% of farms, who are the least vulnerable to adverse market conditions. In order for these programs to provide an effective safety net, they need to be targeted at the most vulnerable. So what do you think the farm safety net program should look like in the United States? Let us know in your comments. Also let us know what other topics you'd like our scholars to cover in 60 seconds. And be sure to like and subscribe for more research and videos from AEI.